Today, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know to get started using your Zoom app on your iPhone. Let's jump in. So first and foremost, you just need to download the Zoom app from the App Store. It's totally free, but you will need to sign up for an account. And once you do, you're going to open up the app like this, and it'll give you the option to either sign in if you have an existing account or sign up for a new account. And again, the new account, you can sign up for a free version that gives you some limitations, but really for most cases to be able to sign into calls and be able to set up your own calls and schedule and all that kind of basic functionality, it'll get you by. And once you sign in, it's going to bring you to this welcome screen right here. And for me, it's asking to access the calendar so that it can detect if there's anything that's on the calendar and needs to be part of the Zoom. I'm going to allow full access. And then it brings it to this welcome screen to just tell you a little bit about the app. And here is your main kind of home screen display. So up at the top, you have the options to start a meeting, which means you're initiating it. and You'll have to send that code out to other people for them to join. Or you can join a meeting, which means somebody invited you to be part of a meeting. Or you can schedule a meeting, which means you're setting up a meeting for some date in the future, and then everybody's gonna sign into that. And then share is if you have an existing meeting going on and you need to share that information. Now, don't worry, we're gonna go through this all in more detail. And then below that, it shows you any upcoming meetings that you have. Now, if you're new to Zoom, you're not going to have any meetings in there just yet, but it's going to show you those in there. Now, if you're trying to access this because somebody has invited you to a Zoom meeting, what's nice is once you've already downloaded the app and you've got your account signed into, wherever they sent you that meeting invitation, there'll be a link in there and you'll click that link and it'll open up Zoom and you'll be in. However, if you don't see that link, you'll go up here to the top and you'll go join, okay? And then it's gonna ask you for a couple of things. It's gonna ask you for the meeting ID, which is that, I think it's a seven or eight digit number that you're gonna punch in there to join that meeting. So you just enter that code in and you're all set. Now I'm gonna show you how to start your own meeting so that some of this functionality will make more sense. So we're gonna cancel out of that and we're gonna to go to meet. And it's gonna ask you a couple of questions here is that you can have your video on which so that they can visually see you and you can toggle that on or off. And then below that, you see it says use personal meeting ID number. So this is a unique number that's dedicated just to you so that if you toggle that on, anybody that has that number can sign in. The other option is that you leave that off so that Zoom will automatically generate a unique number for that specific meeting. So once that meeting's over and you start a new meeting, it'll be a new number. The personal meeting ID comes in handy if you have like regular Friday team meetings or regular groups that you, you get on or family meetups or something like that that you do on a regular basis and you don't wanna have to send out a unique code to them every time. You could just toggle that on, give that number out to the people that need it and then they know every Friday I can jump on that meeting. OK, so we're going to leave that off for now. We're just going to go to start meeting and it's going to ask here first time that you do this for Zoom to allow access to your camera. We're going to say allow. And there you go. There is a preview of what I'm going to look like in the meeting. Now, keep in mind that we have not started the meeting yet. This is simply just a preview so that we can see what that looks like. And if you don't want your video on, you can see there's a camera down there and you can just toggle that off and it'll just come up with your avatar or your picture that you have associated with that. Likewise, right next to there is a microphone. And if that line is through the microphone means that I'm not, my voice is not being part of the call. So that's always important. And we'll show you once we get into the call. I'm going to toggle both of those on and then we're just going to say start meeting. So it takes a few seconds to connect. Now it's gonna ask me to access my microphone. I'm gonna say allow. Now, of course, at this point, I'm the only one in the meeting, but typically it would show a, a layout of everybody in here. But I'm gonna show you some of the controls that you have on your end to be able to control this. So if we tap the screen, it's gonna bring up all these controls. Over on the bottom, you can see it has a mute button. And there, now you can see there's a little red microphone up in the corner. It shows my box showing that I'm muted and everybody else can see that as well. They can tell if your microphone is muted. So this way, I am now, I'm talking, and you're hearing me on the camera, but I am not talking. My voice is not being heard in this Zoom call. So this comes in handy if you're on a big Zoom call and you don't want your, your voice or, to be echoing and things like that, you can mute that. But just make sure that you unmute it when it's time for you to talk. 
Likewise, you can turn your camera off here. So you can shut your camera off if you need to do something or come back and that way. And then next to there, you can see the participants. And if I click on that button, it shows me everybody that's in the call. Again, right now it's just me, but this would list everybody else in the call. If we wanna add people, you see up at the top, there's a person icon, we tap on that. And here is how we would invite them to the call. So again, going back to joining another meeting, we can send an email to a, a recipient and maybe that's what you received and you just click on that link and it'll take you into the call. You can also send a message, you can invite contacts directly or you could just copy a link to this call and text it and that's how you get people into the call. Next to that, we have our chat and what this is, is a way of communicating with other members of the call, especially when you get on large calls and there's a lot of people talking at once. This is a way that you could send text messages to each other or send links. So you could send a link to a Google document or a photo that people need or a phone number or something like that. You can send it this way. And you can either type in here a chat for everyone and say, hello, just type that in, hit send, just like any other text messaging, or, you can send a chat to an individual person. So if you have individual people on the call, you could just chat with them specifically and say something to them directly, okay? You can also react, which this is fun if somebody, you know, again, when you have a big call, a lot of people in there and somebody's talking or presenting information, you can just react and just say, oh, I give that a, a yes, or that's funny. You can have an emoji or you can do, you love that, those kinds of things, right? You can also raise your hand, which is to say, hey, I have a question or somebody call on me. So you can lower your hand that way. So there's a lots of different functionality and usually whoever's hosting the call will kind of guide you through what they're expecting or wanting you to do within there. Down here, you can also share, which will allow you to share your screen if you're showing or doing a demo on your phone to be able to show people how to do something or, or interact with something specific, all the access points there to be able to share, just like you would share your screen on your computer. You also have closed captions so that when somebody's talking, it'll come up as text on the screen, which is a pretty nice function that you, you know, if you're in a noisy room, you could be able to see everything that's coming up on the screen that way. And then there's a bunch other functions. You, you have the whiteboard, you can add documents, notes, lots of different functions that get a little bit more advanced in using the Zoom calls. Now, when you're done on the call and you are ready to end, if you're just a participant, you'll just hit end and you'll leave the meeting. If you're hosting, which in this case I am hosting, I can click here and say end meeting for all and it'll close everybody out of that meeting. Now, down at the bottom, you can go into the chat and you can see where all those chat messages are so that you'd have to worry about saving a chat while you're in the room, but now it'll come up with all the chats as you were talking through there. Now, let's say we wanna schedule a meeting. You'll click on that. You'll name the meeting. You could set the time for whenever you want. Maybe we want later today. You can require people to use a passcode, which means they have to you enter a passcode to be able to enter, uh, or you have to allow them in. If you don't have that on, anybody can enter at any time, even if you're not in the room. And then once you have everything in there, you hit save. And now it's asking here in the calendar to add that to your calendar so that you can be able to just add that. So now you see we have a call now scheduled for later today and the meeting's right in there. So I can just hit start when it's the time to start that and jump in the meeting. Or if you click on it, you can see here, now it has that meeting ID that we were talking about. That's the number that the recipients will enter in or they can just hit the link. And then you can of course start the call from here as well. And there you have it. It's that simple to start using Zoom on your phone, which is really handy if you're on the go or you're away from your computer, you can just pull out your phone, pull out your Zoom app and be able to jump on a call. Hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.